Well, someone's hey. ready for their close-up. Uh, sort of. I guess she can't get enough of that waxy flavor. But we've got something better for you. Melt some strawberry-flavored chocolates. Add to an empty tube. Here you go. Lipstick made just for you. Ooh, a lollipop! Oh, no! Uh, I guess the five-second rule is not applicable. Don't worry. Here's a new friend that can help you. And you know he's cool. Just look at those sunglasses. He can handle a little supersizing. And he'll always give it back to you. Oh, please be mud. Please be mud. Oh, no! She found our chocolate spread. You know, it doesn't need to be so messy. With a little work, it becomes its own dispenser. Just give it a little squeeze, and you won't get any on your hands. To be extra safe, let's go directly to the source. No, wait. Don't eat those gummies just yet. They're perfect for our next craft. They shall fuse together and make a giant gummy bear. <laughs> oh, you uh, got a little something. Maybe we should wait for her to finish. Hmm, maybe this toilet paper holder will help. Secure it on nice and tight. And it's the next best thing to a mouth bib. Gesundheit. Uh, don't worry, we've got you covered. Oh no! Your candy! Taffy's supposed to stretch. In fact, let's have some fun with it. Let's roll up a few different flavors. Oh, we're making it into sushi. Top it off with rice. And a nice chunk of salmon. Slice it up. Serve with soy sauce and wasabi. No, just kidding. It's 100% candy. Don't forget something to wash it down with. Now, where are our manners? Wow, that's a lot of dough. Are you trying to make yourself a twin? How about we dip it in the deep fryer? And add some frosting. It's a puppy! And you always said you wanted a dog. And how about a little rabbit on the side? Looks like we're making sandwiches. Which means it's time for some special sauce. Sure, ketchup and mustard are great, but we're talking rainbow sauce. And mom's got a few tricks up her sleeve too. Like making dinosaur-shaped sandwiches. Hey, nuggets aren't the only thing that can be dino-shaped. See, I told you there's a time and place for ketchup. The T-Rex would be proud. They're smaller dinos too. Marshmallow cream is so fun. And wait till you taste it. How about we keep some in a disc? 
and add a design on top, like a paw print. Add powdered sugar, because powdered sugar. It may have hardened, but it's nice and squishy. But like I said, the real fun's in eating it. Who's ready to get their picture taken? But you know, this photo's not for posting. Let's just say someone needs help drawing hearts. Don't forget to stay inside the lines. And sprinkles. Can't forget sprinkles. Now it's the perfect cupcake topper. And I'd like to say our little model has earned a treat or two. Or eight. Want a bite? Okay, you can let go. We lose more good spoons this way. At least she's not bending them with her mind. Again. And we've got the perfect solution for next time. Potato spoons. The deliciousness of potatoes, but in spoon form. Still, we need to fry them up to be nice and strong. Besides, potatoes and frying just go together. Now let's try it out. Good thing she eats plain ketchup. Candy's dandy, but it's also what we call a sometimes food. Which is why you should keep backups in your secret stash. Like these marshmallows. How about we help them go undercover? Now it just looks like a fluffy white bunny. And how about some camouflage while we're at it? Just add one candy bar and turn up the heat. Wow, would you look at that? See, crisp bread can be yummy too. Well, with the right ingredients. What pretty flowers. They could use a good trim. Great idea. Now there's no pesky thorns. And you don't need a special reason to get roses. In fact, you can always make your own. Just keep adding meat slices on top of a cup. Keep going until you've covered the whole rim. We can't forget the stem or leaves either. Turn it over and it's a lovely rose. Oh, looking good. Let's make a whole bouquet. Here, why don't you give them to mom? She loves it. And they go great with provolone. Luckily, we've got some gadgets that'll make cooking a breeze. And let's just assume she brought food, like this corn, while we weren't looking. Now we've got niblets small enough for all your mouse friends. Oh, a skewer. They can make easy corn kebabs you just pull out. There's a special treat inside this bouquet. A dumpling maker. Wontons, here we come. Just add the sheet and the meat. Make a bunch and it's time to cook them up. But let's try another way with this gravy plate. Add some water around the rim. and keep pinching and folding until it's all closed up. Cut a little off the top and make a bunch. So, what shape do you like better? Next up is an egg opener. Time to crack some eggs. Just bang the top and your egg's open. 
Oh, and there's a prize inside. Of course, we can also crack an egg on a bowl. Or maybe not. I mean, it's open, but it's also kind of a mess, inside and out. Wow, a nutcracker, just like in the ballet. Hey. Let's see if he lives up to his name and cracks those nuts. The shell was no match. Enjoy your treat. But will an egg tray prove just as successful? Maybe with this hammer. Either way, you get your nuts. Wow! A banana slicer! But don't let the name fool you. It can do so much more, like hot dogs and cucumbers. So if you ever wanted to stack all three, your wish is granted. Mm -hmm. A fork? Though it looks like this fork is getting a new look. Won't be as quick on long things, but works even better for small stuff. <sighs> wow, it's hot! Can our next tool be an air conditioner? Well, it's the next best thing, an ice cube maker. It's like a little well. Oh, be careful. Don't want to waste all of that delicious soda. Man, that's one quick freezer. No, wait, it's our next idea. This egg tray isn't just for cracking nuts after all. Ew. And it looks like we're having fun with these ice pops. Guess someone learned their lesson about wasting soda. Let's see how they turned out. Oh. You can just pop them out. Well, they'll certainly add some flavor. Phew. Real or fake, these things will make great party favors. Cool. This thing brings food right to you at the push of a button. Ooh, I wonder if it cleans pores, too. But the real trick is that it helps you vacuum seal all kinds of food. Hmm, do you think you can do the same thing with a straw? Let's hope you don't mind the smell or the taste. Is she okay? Well, one seems quicker. Something tells me this squirrel isn't into nuts. He's more into tea leaves. Just give his tail a nice soak and he'll make you a cup of tea. But can an orange do a squirrel's job? We shall see. Scoop out the rind until it's empty. And then poke some holes in. Add your tea leaves and some hot water. Just watch it drip. I wonder if it has a fruity aftertaste. Wow, these molds can help you make rice balls in cool wow. shapes. Uh huh. Look at all the rice we have to choose from. Hope it's sticky. What cool shapes. Don't forget the fillings or toppings. Great idea. This will really bring out the teddy bear's face. 
These onigiri are really coming together. They're ready for their social media debut. Of course, there's more than one way to impress followers. Leave your face and arms and draw your dream outfit. Peanut butter can be the perfect medium. But toppings can really help make or break your look. This isn't exactly a spoon you eat soup with. But it's great for making meatballs, hence the name. Cook them up, and they're great with pasta. What an interesting bib. Oh wait, that's no bib. It's a plastic bag. And it's giving her an idea. Squeeze and cut them out, and you've got even more meatballs. Itch amazing stuff. Catch you next time. I think you dropped something. Remind me not to use those straws. Attack of the giant squirrel!